my kids are scared. They're very scared. And it is scary for me to send them to school every day and wonder, you know, what could happen. Katz Caglioni has three children, two who were born male, but who identify as female. She says that her trans girls use the girls' restrooms and locker rooms at their schools. If House Bill 183 becomes law, their schools would be forced to discipline them. The bill states schools would have to designate student restrooms, locker rooms, changing rooms, and shower rooms as male biological sex only or female biological sex only. Further, it states no school shall permit a person born female to use a designated male restroom or a person born male to use a designated female restroom. The votes are 10 to 5, and we will favorably report the bill. The House Committee on Higher Education passed the bill onto the full House along party lines. We spoke to the legislator who introduced the bill, New Richmond's Adam Byrd. Constituents have come to me asking for this kind of protection for their kids and grandkids. What are you protecting Ohio's children from? Girls and women, uh, they don't feel comfortable with having a man in the locker room. And it's, it's most uncomfortable. It's scary. It's intimidating. And I think there's a lot of girls out there that are afraid to say something. Representative Byrd says some people are afraid they'll get canceled. Trans Ohio says he should be concerned about corporations and organizations canceling events and operations here. I suspect that we'll see some effects on the kinds of conferences and students wanting to attend our higher education institutions in Ohio as well. My fear is that it will make it impossible for trans people to exist in Ohio with any form of safety or normalcy. Ohio is a great place to start a business, bring a business. We've got a great workforce. We've got a great education. And I think that uh, Ohio is a great place to raise a family. So I don't see anybody not coming here. Ohio is a great place to raise a family unless you have trans kids, right? I don't know the answer to that, but we're going to we're going to protect our kids. And, and Ohioans are crying out for a bill that protects children, that protects women in restrooms. From breaking news to feel good stories, Local 12 has it all. Tap subscribe and hit the links to find out more.